We've all been hearing about the rental crisis lately. Cost of living's been punishing our wallets like a horse kicking a midget in the head. Well, what if I told you that there's a suburb in one of our capital cities where the houses cost about as much as a horse? Where shopping trolleys fill the fields like horses with tiny wheels? Where you can visit a horse stadium without actually having to interact with a horse? Well, strap yourself onto a horse, ladies and horsemen. Welcome to Kabulcha. Kabulcha has plonked itself about now in north of Brisbane on the banks of the Kabulcha River, which also doubles as the local landfill. Despite how appealing the name sounds, it's become an unfortunate, disfigured child of failed social projects and methamphetamine addiction. For a very long time, the suburb was little more than a rural area known for farms and cows and probably horses, I guess. But once the World Expo 88 hit Brisbane and turned it from a beguiled industrial wasteland into Australia's least interesting capital city, Caboolture became the new home for the down and outs and drug addicts who were summarily evicted from the inner city suburbs to make way for international bureaucrats and shit murals. Caboolture's history is scarcely mentioned on the internet and I'd rather lick a cow's clacker than pay the $18 admission fee to Caboolture's overpriced historical society, but I can be quite sure that there's been a whole lot of nothing happening here since the town was founded 100 years ago. Today the suburb's home to what must be one of the country's largest social housing projects, a place where everything is fine and there's absolutely nothing to worry about ever. At least, that's what the sign on the way into Caboolture would have you think. According to whatever this is, lifestyle really counts up here, which is definitely true if your lifestyle revolves around smoking meth and beating up old ladies at the train station. Upon stepping hoof in Caboolture for the first time, your ears will be assaulted by the sirens of the local taxi service, which ferries people to and fro between the suburb's hospital and the street corner they overdosed on. The hospital is known throughout southeast Queensland as being a bastion of public service, going so far as to provide local residents with dead babies and free medical waste, an invaluable service in a place such as this where syringes are in suspiciously short supply. In fact, there are a lot of things that are in short supply in Caboolture, such as unvandalised bus stops, good urban planning and any discernible form of culture. There'll be none of your fancy French food here, mate. Whole cuisine in the area consists of maccas, kinky fat chicks and about half a million kebab shops. While this might serve to make Caboolture seem even more unappealing to most people, it does provide local entrepreneurs a foolproof way to create a successful business. And for those of you looking to start your next venture but who don't want the headache of a food outlet, you can try your sticky hand at motorised scooters. There's a huge cohort of residents requiring these electric horses on wheels, and the ever-increasing demand for shitty fast food brings with it an ever-increasing population of fat lards who can't be bothered walking anymore. This does, however, create problems for places like this shopping centre, which sees so little foot traffic these days that it appears the owners have simply given up on cleaning it. Spiders are now the centre's most common tenants, with the shopping centre embracing the appearance of a haunted house. The uneasy feeling felt inside this lamentable location isn't just confined to the inner walls, however. Just down the road is a surprisingly small local graveyard. I imagine its small hoof print is probably due to the fact that people here smoke so much meth they just wither into dust, but it's still a sorry affair filled with the bodies of residents past who were unlucky enough to have never checked out a Caboolture before the cold grip of death enveloped them. It's also got CCTV cameras because why wouldn't you have CCTV cameras in a graveyard? Crime is so bad in this town that even the local ants have resorted to grave robbing. Here's a Top Gear top tip for all you car fans out there. Don't leave your car unattended in Caboolture. That is, unless you hate your car and you want to have it stolen so you can claim insurance on it and buy a horse. For the stats nerds, 91.46% of suburbs in Australia have less property crime than Caboolture. There are 124.42 crimes per 1,000 people here, and if you're a resident, you've got a 1 in 103 chance of becoming a victim of violent crime at any time. And it's on the rise as well. There was a 19% increase in crime between 2021 and 2022. I'm not making these stats up, there's a link in the description if you want to have a look at them yourself. I know this all sounds horrifying, but it's not all bad news here. Just south of Caboolture's CBD is this park which is slightly underwhelming but still more enjoyable than the rest of the town. Activities here include running away from geese, not fishing, listening to the soft sound of the six-lane arterial road that runs directly through the middle of the park, and doing whatever the hell it is that these people are doing. There's also Dusty the dog, who despite not being a horse, is probably the only good thing about this place. He's just chilling out, wearing an Akubra and a guitar on his back. I mean, there's not much else to say about it, really. He's definitely the best sculptor in the country, but given that he's pretty much the only interesting thing in Caboolture, he's about as out of place here as a transgender man is at a dick measuring competition. A few dozen metres past old Dusty, you might encounter these hapless halfwits hopelessly trying to encourage people to find Jesus, fruitlessly barking up the wrong tree into an abyss of substance abuse and screaming motorists. 
Why you'd bother is beyond me. Even if you could convert them, I doubt you'd be able to have these people in your church without them beating up the priest and stealing money from the collection basket. Decency is a dirty word here, destined to be dumped on the street with all the other rubbish. Everyone loves hard rubbish collection day, but Cavaltorians don't wait for the one day of the year it comes around. They want it all, they want it now, and they put the hard into hard rubbish. If your bins are full, just throw your shit onto the street like everyone else. If you're lucky, the next time a big rain comes, it'll wash your bags of twisty packets and used syringes into the Gabulcha River where they belong. Apart from littering, extracurricular activities for the local kids exist primarily in the form of trashing abandoned buildings and painting graffiti everywhere. If you've ever been to Brisbane, you'll be well aware that the council is hell-bent on removing graffiti, but this isn't Brisbane, this is Caboolture, and the council doesn't seem to give two squirts about serial scribblers. It's almost as if after trying to get a handle on the crime here, they've just given up and gone, fuck it, have fun festering in your own filth. And look, it's all well and good to laugh at people here, and the antics of meth heads are very funny, but the underlying cause of why Caboolture is a shithole is not. I get the shits when people say that you can't make fun of a town just because of its problems because I believe that by saying Caboolture isn't as bad as people make it out to be, minimizes the issues that the town has. It's pretending that there's no problem when there very openly, very clearly is. You don't have to seek out the bad parts of the suburb because they're all bad parts. You can't fix an issue by simply pretending it doesn't exist, that's not how it works. As it turns out, when you lump drug addicts and criminals together in one place instead of placing them among people who don't have these issues, it just breeds more drug addiction and crime. Caboolture is just another sorry story in the big book of Australia's failed social experiments, a stark reminder of exactly what happens when you shove the poorest of the poor together and force them to fend for themselves. So there you go kids, the answer to the housing crisis. If you want to live somewhere that's slightly better than a cardboard box under an overpass, look no further than Caboolture, the culture capital of northern Brisbane. It might be an unpleasant place to live filled with graffiti, property crime and drug addicts that talk to shopping trolleys, but if you smoke enough meth then you too can learn to live in this weird fever dream where the council brags about having over 300 CCTV cameras set up and lifestyle really counts. Living in the lap of luxury is for losers. It's time to start loving a litany of larceny. Embrace the lifestyle. Buy a horse. Don't go to Caboolture. And now, a haiku. Caboolture, my love, oh sweet and noble, tried and true. Give us your lighter, cunt.